Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Alk. In this video, we are having something exciting for you. So we are going to discuss a proper plan that you need to follow to become a successful Salesforce developer. So without any further delay, let's dive in. So when I was learning Salesforce, I had only one option, the documentation that was provided by the Salesforce itself. It has its own ups and downs. One of the positive side of the documentation is that there is no confusion about the resources and where to start. However, if I struggled about something to understand from the documentation, there was nowhere else to start. But times have changed. Today learning Salesforce is much easier than ever. There are abundance of free and paid resources are available. All you need is discipline and consistency and that's why we are here today. So imagine yourself as a Salesforce developer working in a top-notch company earning great salaries and enjoying amazing work-life balance. How does that make you feel? I know you are on the top of the world and if you want this life, I want your commitment for next 100 days. In this video, we'll share a proper 100 day plan that will equip you with the skills needed to become a Salesforce developer. If you work hard for these 100 days, you will definitely going to thank yourself later. But before we jump into the plan, let's establish some ground rules. Rule number one, dedicate at least two hours every day for learning. Rule number two, share your progress on LinkedIn and tag Salesforce Alk. Rule number three, you should be consistent for next 100 days, no Saturdays and Sundays off. Now to become a Salesforce developer, you should be familiar with one of the programming languages like C, C++ or Java. And you should also need to know some basic web development technologies like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And don't worry, if you do not know these things, it will hardly take one month to understand these basic concepts. And it's important to learn all these things before starting starting your journey as a Salesforce developer. As a Salesforce developer, majorly there are four skill sets that you should know. First, understanding of Apex. Apex is a programming language that is used to build custom functionality within the Salesforce. Second, understanding of integration that includes REST APIs and SOAP APIs. Third, Lightning Web Component. It is a framework that is used to create UI within the Salesforce. And fourth, Lightning Component. It is also a particular framework that is used to build UI inside Salesforce. Now let's get into the detailed plan. Before you are starting with the development part, you need to have the complete understanding of the platform. And that understanding you'll be getting from Salesforce admin part. So from day one to day 30, you need to familiarize yourself with the Salesforce data models, relationships, data management, data security and you need to explore the automation capabilities of Salesforce like lightning flows. So for all these topics, we have already created our comprehensive Salesforce admin playlist, which will be containing all the topics which are related to the Salesforce admin part and will be giving you the knowledge of the platform as well. And we have also created our flow playlist. You can check that out as well. And if you want to do more practice, then you can refer to the Salesforce trailer. Now, once you have completed the Salesforce admin part from day 31 to day 50, you need to start learning Apex programming and master Master the concepts like data types, object oriented concepts, SQL, SOSL, DML, etc. And for these topics, you can refer to our Salesforce development premium course, which is available on YouTube for free. And I think it will be more than enough to give you the understanding of Apex programming. Now that you know the concepts of Apex programming from day 51 to day 60, it's time to learn about integration in which you'll be connecting Salesforce with external system using different APIs like REST API and SOAP API. And for both of them, we have created videos on YouTube. And for the same, you will be finding the link in the description box. Now that you know the concepts of Apex programming and integration that will be used in the backend part. So it's time to learn front-end technologies. From day 61 to day 80, you need to start learning LWC that is Lightning Web Component in which you need to explore different frameworks, build complex components and enhance user experience. For that, you can refer to our detailed LWC playlist. We are currently working on to that, but by the time you'll reach here, we'll make sure to complete it. And for the same, you'll be finding the link in the description box. Now from day 81 to 95, you need to start learning Lightning Component and Visual Force. They were introduced way before Lightning Web Component and their purpose is also same to create UI. Still many companies are using it, so I'll suggest you to get the basic understanding of it. For that, you can refer to our videos on our YouTube channel and you can refer to the Salesforce documentation as well. At this point, you have all the necessary knowledge required to become a Salesforce developer. 
So from day 96 to 100, it's time to showcase your skill set by building Salesforce application and working on some real scenario based projects. That will give you an edge over other candidates in the interview. I hope this plan gives you the clear understanding. So stick to the plan for next 100 days and you will definitely going to thank yourself later. So I'll challenge each and every one of you to dedicate at least 2 hours in learning and share your progress on LinkedIn while tagging us. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel and comment below on which topic you want our next video.